Hello everyone, Professor Philip Travis. This week we're going to be examining uh, the United States and the Second World War. We're going to be thinking not only about elements associated with the conflict, we're also going to really be thinking about World War II and the home front. Uh, World War II, of course, became a really, really important moment for the emergence of, of the women's movement, the feminist movement, in the post-war period as women went to work and provided an integral um, labor force to the Second World War. Uh, World War II at home also is a driving factor in the development of, uh, of the civil rights movement that really comes to its fore in the 50s and 60s, um, as, of course, African Americans contributed greatly as well to the war effort, both in terms of, of labor in factories and also in service abroad with groups such as uh, the Tuskegee Airmen. And of course, they faced a tremendous amount of racial uh, discrimination um, in, that, in, that, in that process. So we're going to be looking at World War II this week, and I'm going to keep this part of the announcement short because your extra credit factoid, I want you to summarize the short video below. I'll give you two points for this since it's a little bit long, um, like last week. But I think you'll really, really enjoy this. I've had the, 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 the opportunity to travel to many places in the world. And so the video that you're going to see below is a video that I created, a short film, if you will, that I created uh, from Normandy. Um, I, when I visited the beaches at Normandy, uh, the location for the, uh, the Allied D-Day operations during the Second World War. So watch that short video, that short film, and in the extra credit discussion area, just write a little summary, your thoughts about it, and so forth. Our reading for this week is chapter 29. It's the only chapter this week. We have our test this week. Test number two is this week. Please be sure to use the study guide um, in preparing for that test. Um, the test is arranged very similar to the first test. So be sure to use the study guide and let me know if you have any questions as, um, as you prepare for the exam. I recommend looking at the study guide early in the week and start working with it. Go through it and see what items you know you feel comfortable with. And then go to items that uh, maybe you don't know. And maybe go back and review the lectures or look through in your readings uh, to get a feel for um, the types of identifications we're looking at for this. There is a discussion forum this week. Originally, I was going to say no discussion forum this week, but I have an abbreviated discussion forum. Um, so it's not, um, it's not massive. Uh, all you have to do is make one post. That's it. No replies or anything. But there's two primary sources that I have in the content area. And those primary sources, I want you to, I want you to read those and uh, do a little analysis. They're not long. Uh, we're talking about... I think it's a total of like three pages of reading. One of them is the Atlantic Charter. And the Atlantic Charter was basically the agreement between Franklin Roosevelt and Winston Churchill. Uh, it basically was Franklin Roosevelt's sort of agenda when it came to why the United States was intervening and fighting in the Second World War. So it's basically Roosevelt's goals in uh, the U.S. effort in the Second World War. And then the other one comes from Franklin Roosevelt's State of the Union speech in 1944. And this came to be known as his Economic Bill of Rights, or sometimes it's called the Second Bill of Rights, Franklin Roosevelt's proposed Second Bill of Rights. And it's a short, it's short. It's, a, it's not the entire speech. It's just the part that would be associated with the Economic or the Second Bill of Rights. And I want you to read that. And I want to hear you post about what, I, what are the ideals in that that Roosevelt says all Americans are due as a right, and to what extent have these been realized. So make that post um, this week in the discussion forum, prepare for study for the test, and the extra credit video just below, that's for the factoid. I hope you enjoy it. Make that post in the extra credit area. I'll see everyone in the discussion forum this week, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.